So Vinny, we know that networking is very important these days. Uh, your network is your net worth. That's how <laughs> we met. That's how I got my first job. I knew someone who knew someone they were hiring. They put my resume on the first and that's what you want. You to, to, so that people will call you and then you do the, all the other work. But for some people, so job seekers or new immigrants or international students, they're kind of not comfortable to go and speak with someone or even online reach to someone or even now that we're going to go back to back in person, how can they reach? Is there any strategy you recommend them they can they need to use? Oh, yeah. You know, <laughs> when I, st- I don't know how I don't I really don't know how the universe gave me what it what it why i don't know i know i know why but i don't know how it gave me what i wanted i I didn't know a single person in the industry and my family wasn't connected to anyone in tv there was a far shot from me in fact i don't know if i ever even thought of of having a job in television um the way i got into tv was one day i took out an ad on something called backstage a magazine where non-union actors go to look for opportunities i said i'm looking for opportunities if you're looking for opportunities send me your headshots and resumes and i'll send you opportunities i think are right and in the future when i have my own i'll invite you yeah you know um i turned to people that i knew i could help and who who whose success would also benefit me and my success would benefit them and i turned to them first mm-hmm. And I asked them for help before I asked anyone inside a TV network or even knew what a producer was or Mm -hmm. how it all works. I didn't, I didn't even, it's so weird to say this. And I'm not saying you have to do what I did, but I didn't focus on the how I focused on the who. Yeah. And I let their problems guide me to figure out that I need a database where I can control information for them. Yeah. They're not seeing information the way I'm seeing it, so I can get it to them quicker. And and some of those people were producers that then turned into opportunities yeah. and so on. And that now my net worth, my network is my net worth. Now, 25 years later, it's yeah. great to be able to say that. But also, I'm starting from day one many times with conversations because there are many new people in this industry and not all of them know or care about my uh my track record in tv or even even other shows that i've worked on yeah so so networking has become a vital part of of my success even in reality tv for for 15 years where i'm casting and, and diving into worlds that I'm certainly not qualified for because I don't have the background or the culture or the community or the understanding. I don't have the license, <laughs> be, you know, in the room with the ha- half, more than half of the conversations that I've had with those people. If I were to look at it from a business perspective, but I tried, I treated them as people. And that to me has always gotten me through. That to me has always allowed me to, to not get starstruck when I just look at the person and I focus on how am I going to help you? That's yeah. at the end of the day. That's what I'm, why you're letting me in this room, not because I can do X, Y, Z. Ultimately that's going to help you. And I, I really sit back and I look at that for me the here's the short answer after that long yeah. story, podcasting, mm-hmm. no one owns podcasting. If you're having a hard time figuring out how to get traction, how to get some energy out there, I would literally turn to podcasting. It's not a scary industry. No one owns podcasting. Yeah. People own podcasts. So find yeah. a great person, not a podcaster, mm-hmm. find a great person and build a relationship with them and mm-hmm. trust them. Yeah. And, the, and then slowly have one interview with that person. And if that's successful, then do another. And if not, then reach out to me <laughs> and I will interview you and, and give you the file and let you, you know, practice and get strong. And I really mean that, by the way, right now that I have the ability to be able to help people. So uh, reach out on LinkedIn if you want to take me up on that. Because um, sometimes, sometimes the hardest part of interviewing is in the answers. We think that the questions are the tough part. No, we don't know what questions are coming, so we don't know what our answers are going to be. And what you learn is actually you show up with the answers. Mm-hmm. You know what you want to talk about. You just have to figure out how to get there after I say to you, how was your day? Yeah. Or what was it like working at XYZ? Yeah. You know what you want to talk about. So it's about it's about making sure that we can come back to the things that are important to you. And and if you're feeling disconnected in the work process or the job search process, if you're if you're not feeling connected in conversation, podcast guesting might be a great way for you just to practice some of those yeah. so, social skills and learn some of those words, yeah. those new words that pop up in, in vocabulary. That's that's a really important way 
to break through the barrier and create content that yeah. might help you make some yeah. noise and get you to where you want to be. Yeah. I tell my clients, you know, uh, make sure that you have in mind to meet three new people when yeah. you're, you're meeting with them. Don't ask about the weather or, or anything else. About Ask them, what's your intent attending this meeting? And then, it's, as you mentioned, it's all about them. How can I help you? You know, maybe you're in this industry. I know someone or if you have a project, I can help. It's all about them. And later on, when you build relationship, as we did, after a while, you can ask, by the way, I'm looking for a job or by the way, can you help me in, make me an introduction? That's yeah. all you want. You said it perfectly. Um, you said, how can I help you? Perhaps I can do X. That's the most important thing. That's the thing that changed my career. It wasn't that I offered to help somebody. No one knows how they how I can help them. By the way, not only does no one know how I can help them if I'm a new person, but I promise you, even if you know me, no one knows how well I can help them better than I can. So, so part of that responsibility is saying, how can I help you? Can I do, for me, it was, how can I help you? Do you need hundred people in this room do you need to understand 50 yeah. of them that are asking questions do we need to track yeah do we need to, you know part of it was i was able to figure out how i can but um again i didn't turn to the how i was going to break into the industry yeah. i turned into the who's i who's? I, I jumped you know? even when i did i jumped i jumped to the end i was like let me work with them that's why i want to get in because of the talent let me work with the talent and we'll figure out the rest and in this situation it worked out for me yeah, those are great tips, Benny. Thank you very much. And tune in next time for my final question with Benny.